search on the He got tired of you talking about it. I am recording. <laughs> so we are recording, just so everybody's aware. It's not. It's not live. No. It's not live. So you can edit it with first few minutes. So what? What I'll have to do is just post it to our YouTube later. Okay. Technical difficulties, unfortunately. Okay, it happens. No, it's not for your team. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want? Um, you're going to talk with that's right um if you would like to but oh, i can do it after the meeting as well it's up to you yeah okay because your signature is on the thing that's going to okay <laughs> we don't have any additional information other than all there but then i have one perfect that's good <laughs> Yeah, well, if I can avoid it, I do. It's chilly outside. Oh my gosh, you probably would take my barn angel sweater off. I ran home through this on a window. It's January night. Yeah, you're a Okay. It's seven o'clock. I can call the meeting to order. <clears throat> Moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Ruff. Resolved that the meeting, regular meeting, commenced at the hour of seven p.m. And be it further resolved that Council acknowledges that we are meeting in the Robinson Spear Treaty area on lands that have been traditionally used by several Indigenous nations, but we would like to pay special recognition to our closest Indigenous neighbors, the community of Victigon Nishinabek and Netzimagamak Nishinaabek First Nations. We wish to recognize the long history of First Nations and Métis people in our region specifically and show respect to them today. All in favor? Carried. Okay, additions or deletions to the agenda? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, any disclosure of pecuniary interest, interest or general nature thereof? Seeing none, approval of the agenda. Moved by Councillor Hudson, seconded by Councillor Kotick, resolved that the agenda be approved as circulated. All in favor? Mm. Carried. Okay, any delegations or presentations? No. Adoption of the minutes. Moved by Councillor Hudson, seconded by Councillor Ruff, resolved that the minutes of the regular council meeting held December 13th, 2023 are adopted as circulated. All in favor? Carried. Okay, no petitions and uh, correspondence. Moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Hudson, resolved that correspondence item number 0801 be received and file or to the chair i'd like to bring down okay be it further resolved that item 0801 be returned to council under business for the meeting of january 10th january 10th 24. <laughs> all in favor Harry. Okay. Reports and committees. Moved by Councillor Ruff, second by Councillor Hudson, resolved that the minutes of the meeting of the Thunder Bay District Board of Health held November 15th, 2023, be accepted as received. All in favor? Harry. Okay. okay, moved by Councillor Ruff, seconded by Councillor Kotick, resolved that the minutes of the meeting of the Thunder Bay District Social Services 
Administration Board held November, November 16th, 2023. Be accepted as received. All in favor? Okay. Okay. Okay, so my verbal update. I just want to say welcome to 2024, <laughs> new year. And uh, also welcome to Jeff King, our uh, Public Works seasonal, se seasonal Casual Employee. And also welcome back Executive Assistant Katie Law to the team and uh, wish everyone a great year. And that's all I have. Update by CAO. Now, thank you through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I only have one update, and it's a congratulations to Mayor Moffitt on being elected as Vice Chair for the Thunder Bay District Social Services Administration Board. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, on to business. Great. Okay. Moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Ruff. Resolved that council is in receipt of administration report FD 2024 01, submitted by Don Kruger, fire chief regarding the fire department expense cost recovery with Fire Marquee Incorporated. Thank you, through Mr. Chair. Um, does anybody need any summation of the report or one question? Questions? Through you, Mr. Chair. It is there a lot of this that goes on that no okay no uh for the 2023 actually for the 2022 and 2023 year we would have uh reclaimed zero dollars oh okay so uh no where where this is not going to make a, a great deal of money for the township but uh, in the event that there is a fire that uh, we have to spend any kind of time at uh, it would not be for us to recover costs yeah, that is exactly how I read it, and I think that's a great idea. But, I mean, we don't need it great, but if we do need it, it's there. And the the great thing is that it costs the homeowner nothing as well. Certainly. Um, it's a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I can oh. mention through the chair. I am curious if there is a similar thing through auto insurance for auto accidents. So yes, uh, we we already do that. Uh, that is actually through the MTO though. Um, any, mm -hmm. for us, unfortunately, the only uh, roadway that we can do that on is Highway 614, or you know if we actually did something down on 17, but there's an avenue for cost recovery through the MTO, okay. and, and we already do use that. Okay, thank you. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Okay, and further that council receives Fire Chief's report dated January 10th, 2024, to enter into an agreement with Fire Marquee. And further, that council approves the bylaw outlining the fee schedule and fire department billing process with Fire Marquee Incorporated to recover costs for the dispatch of the Manitowoc Fire Department and fire related calls. And further, that council approves the bylaw to authorize the execution of an agency agreement with Fire. Marquee Incorporated, all in favor? Carried. Okay, next. Moved by Councillor Ruff, seconded by Councillor Kotick, resolved that Council is in receipt of correspondence from William Bradica, CAO of the Thunder Bay District Social Services Administration Board regarding Township of Manitowoc endorsement for the 2024 Roma delegation position papers. Any questions or comments? No. Um, just as a note, I will be in on the delegations at Roma for um, for DSAP. Okay. And further, that council for the Township of Manitowoc endorses the 2024 Roma delegation position papers from the Thunder Bay District Social Services Administration Board. All in favor? Carried. Okay. 
Moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Hudson, resolved that Council is in receipt of administration report admin 2024-01, submitted by Florence McLean, CAO, regarding cleaning contract. Tender award January 1st, 2024 to December 31st, 2025. Thank you through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, late in December, we posted a tender opportunity for a cleaning contract for the Township of Manitowoc including public works, uh, building the fire hall and the township office, as well as 40 Manitou, which is uh, the Golden Age Centre and Service Ontario space. And we received one bid from Clean Sweep in the amount of $32,000 and uh, requesting council's support to award the contract to Clean Sweep. Any questions or comments? No. Okay. No, I, yeah, everything's good. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Okay. And further, that council approved the tender submitted by Clean Suite for the two year cleaning contract in the amount of $32,200 $32, plus HST per annum. All in favor? Carry. Okay. Moved by Councillor Rupp, seconded by Councillor Kodak, resolved that Council is in receipt of administration report TR 2024 01, submitted by Aaron McGregor, Deputy Treasurer, regarding the 2024 user fees update, January 10th revision. Thank you, and good evening for you, Mr. Chair. Uh, so I don't think there's tons to go over here. This is a revision of the previously presented user fees with uh, the changes that uh, council directed staff to make. Um, so uh, as you can see, the water and sewer rates are uh, the same as for 2023. Uh, there was one other addition and that was uh, fees for credit and debit card payments online and over the phone. Now, it's the township's policy that we do not accept credit card payments for tax, utility, and lot rent payments. Um, but we do offer credit card and debit card payments online or over the phone through a third party, and that third party charges these fees. So in the past, we weren't actually levying a charge of 1.5 or 2.5 percent. It was a third party payment processor doing so online. By adding this to the user fees. It gives us the option to charge residents if they want to phone in their credit card information for these types of payments. And the costs associated with taking credit card payments are such that we, we, we don't offer that service because it's a large volume of uh, payments. And as such, the credit card fees, they, they scale with the amount of payments. So uh, this is to, again, give us the flexibility to take payments over the phone because some uh, some individuals have difficulty navigating our online portal. Um, so this will just give us that flexibility. Uh, there was a amendment made to the document that I believe was forwarded to council today. It was a wording issue where in the original document that was posted and uh, provided, it did not mention that it was for taxes, levies, payments in lieu and lot rent. We're not looking to stick people with fees for paying by credit card for services that we normally accept credit card for. It's just for the, the taxes, levies, payments, and we lot rent. Uh, and then there was one other amendment which was made, which was to add a $150 charge for first aid and CPR training, which the fire department is now offering. Uh, this was uh, an omission that was added. Uh, and that was not in the copy that you received. That was uh, another amendment that was made uh, yeah. after that was sent. I believe that's everything. Does anybody have any questions? Questions? Okay. Uh, I just want to comment on uh, the user fees for the credit card. That is actually starting to become a very common practice for a lot of businesses to charge fees for using credit cards instead of the business actually absorbing those costs. So, you know, this is not the township picking on the everyday person. This is general practice. So just want to confirm that. Um, okay, so other than that, uh, we will continue.
And further, that council adopts the attached revised 2024 user fee bylaw and schedule of user fees. And further, that council approves the recommended water and sewer levy adjustment for 2023. All in favor? Carried. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Moved by Councillor Hudson, seconded by Councillor Ruff, being a bylaw to adopt a Deputy Chief Administration Officer, a Deputy Chief Administrative Officer to be read a first and second time. And furthermore, be read a third time and passed, third time passed and numbered. Sorry, Mr. Chair, oh. um, to appoint a Deputy Admin Chief Administrative Officer. Did I say that wrong? Um, yeah, but that's okay. Okay, and, so and I'm, I'm not sure if um, CIO McLean would like to speak. Okay. Would you like to speak on that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this is um, uh, an opportunity coming out of our acting CAO program to appoint uh, one of our staff members as a deputy CAO. So, in my absence, uh, they have full authority of the CAO. Um, and it also it enhances the acting CAO program in that all of the participants have two staff members that they can turn to when they have questions. And it really builds capacity and uh, the integrity of the corporation. So this is a, a great opportunity to, to really expand uh, that level of senior management. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to read it from the top again. <laughs> Being a bylaw to appoint a deputy chief administrative officer, be read a first and second time. And furthermore, be read a third time passed and numbered as bylaw number 2024-01. All in favor? Carried. Okay, moved by Councillor Crotick, seconded by Councillor Hudson, being a bylaw to appoint a Community Emergency Management Coordinator, CEMC, for the Township of Manasquash. Would you like to speak? That one also. Yes, thank you very much. So I, I have been appointed the Community Emergency Management Coordinator uh, for the past several years. Um, but because I'm not in Manitowash, it's prudent that that position be uh, available in Manitowash. So Don Kruger is the alternate CEMC, so we'd like to move him up to the full CEMC. And then there will be other staff who are working towards their designation as well, who then can become uh, the alternate CEMC. Um, and then, or potentially Don would go back to alternate and the other candidates would be uh, the full CEMC. So this is to ensure that our emergency management group, uh, the control group, is all set up in the case of an emergency. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, so being a bylaw to appoint a community emergency management coordinator, CEMC, for the Township of Manitowar to be ready first and second time. And furthermore, be read a third time, passed and numbered as bylaw number 2024 02. All in favor? Yeah. And congratulations on the new appoint appointees. Okay. No, through the chair, this is for um, the um, oh, okay. fire department request. Yeah, right. Okay, moved by Councillor Ruff, second by Councillor Kotick being a bylaw to authorize cost recovery fees with respect to fire department specific responses be read a first and second time. And furthermore, be read a third time, pass the numbered as bylaw number 2024-03. All in favor? Carried. Moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Hudson being a bylaw to authorize the execution of an agreement with Fire Marquee Incorporated, be ready first and second time. 
and furthermore be read a third time past the number as bylaw number 2024-04. All in favor? Carried. Okay. Moved by Councillor Ruff, seconded by Councillor Kotick, being a bylaw to establish a 2024 service and charges. Establish 2024 service and charges. Be ready first and second time. And furthermore, be ready third time, pass the number that's bylaw number 2024-05. Anyone favors? Carries. Um, through the chair, we missed a motion um, under business. We brought down the correspondence. Ah, I was waiting for yes. that. Yes, so that will we will okay. go back up to business Sorry. and go with that motion. <laughs> okay, moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Ruff. Resolved that Council is in receipt of correspondence from Health Canada's Environment Health Program regarding small sensor project seeking site locations in Northern Ontario. And... Who has information on this? Um, that would be CAO. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over to Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you through you, Mr. Chair. Um, our, we have a, uh, the ability for people to send uh, emails through our website. And so the, we received this through our website contact submission. And it was from uh, Phoebe Tung from Health Canada, who is looking for locations to install um, air quality sensors to gather more data specific to Northern Ontario with regard to uh, air quality specifically around uh, wildfire smoke. And so the requirements are that we have to have uh, electricity and reliable Wi-Fi. And so I did reach out to Phoebe and just asked if there was any additional information that she could share with me, um, but I didn't hear back from her, but I am seeking direction from council. If this is something that you would like uh, the township to do, we can certainly follow up with them um, to see if Manitouage is a suitable location. And the chair, yeah, I think this would be a good idea because we're right in the middle of the forest. <laughs> And, you know, it's good to know it's good for everybody's health and it will help in the long run with forced money. Uh, if I may, for the chair. Uh, so I was looking at the map that they provided in the link here, and it's very clear from what they show that you don't have coverage from Base Significant to Walla to Shaflo and like Cabo Scapes and stuff. There's like a square basically significant in that area. They have no coverage. So, with us right in the middle, it would be a perfect location to set that up. And us in particular, we suffer wildfires all the time in the summer. I mean, it would be great to know, especially for the fire department or other medical groups, how bad it is, really. Like, do we need masks to be outside or things like that? They provide valuable information. Okay, great. Anything? Okay. Yeah, so I think that's a consensus that, uh, yeah, definitely look into it more. And I think it would only be good for medical. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, and further that council directs staff to work with Health Canada to participate in the small sensor program. And further that staff update council on the status of the project with Health Canada at a later date. All in favor? Carry. Alrighty. <clears throat> Just the motions and notices. Okay, motions and notices of motion, none. No closed session. Uh, no business arising for closed session. Confirmation of bylaws. Okay, moved by Councillor Kotick, seconded by Councillor Ruff, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the Council of the Township of Manitowaj at its regular meeting on held on Wednesday, January 10th, 2024. Be ready first and second time. And furthermore, be ready third time, pass the number as bylaw number 2024-06. All in favor? Carried. Yes. Moved by Councillor Hudson, seconded by Councillor Kotick. Resolved that the regular meeting adjourn at the hour of 7.23. All in favor? Carried. 